this neighborhood is unique in that it's probably one of the last kind of, or at least yeah, one of the fewer major thoroughfares or commercial corridors that has not fully been developed or gentrified. So connecting Garfield Park and kind of Heritage Hill is this major strip that connects really almost 28th Street all the way to downtown. I would say this neighborhood from where we're at, a, a mile radius, a typical community that size would have 150, 160 different businesses. This neighborhood has about 80 to 85. We came from Byron Center. Our company was there for, I don't know, nearly 15 years or something, and then we moved here. And, and the reason why is because we wanted to make certain if we're going to move our company somewhere, we're going to go to the expense of a building, we wanted to do all of that in a place where it mattered, in a place where it could have an impact beyond just dollars. When we say that one of our key objectives here is to create jobs in this neighborhood, that excites people. And so the, the neighborhood's been incredibly receptive to us because in a sense we are outsiders coming in. What is interesting about this neighborhood is it's undergoing a shift in terms of the old guard going where the old guard goes and the young ones coming in. We've got a new, a new group of ethnicities moving into our neighborhood that didn't used to be here and that's coloring it and flavoring it in all kinds of different kinds of ways. That's ongoing and, and will continue for quite some time and I think that's kind of exciting. There's lots of things that make up a neighborhood, from the businesses and the nonprofits, the services. But core to that, you can't have a neighborhood without people. And also, the high percentage of young people that we have the privilege to work with and to learn from uh, are from this neighborhood. And so it made natural sense to start exploring. Coming to a neighborhood that needed to, to be loved for who it is, that's what brought us here. We got an entrepreneurial spirit that is alive and well on division. And those businesses are, a lot of them are pretty new, they're pretty fresh because they're people that have just come into, the, into our community and have decided, well, here's a way for me to make a living. And they've got that entrepreneurial spirit and next thing you know, they're out there trying to make that living. The kids for the future of the neighborhood, I really try to guide them in the right direction, honestly, you know. Uh, I've, I've been through their situation. They, they come to my chair and they, they tell me their problems. This, this is not just a barbershop, this is almost like a counseling you know, and, and I made my shop more homey for them so they could either play foosball, Pac-Man, basketball outside. You know, I, I made it a chill spot for them. And I really just don't want to see kids going down the wrong path no more. You know, I want, I want them to bring this neighborhood back to life. I see this neighborhood as uh, pregnant with potential. I think all I see is hope when I look outside and I see all the buildings that have the potential to be renovated and new life breathed into them. Um, but not from an external perspective with someone else coming in, but from the bottom up where the voices of the people living here are heard. Mm -hmm.